This video is all about protecting you from dangerous castor oil combinations that could seriously harm your health. Over 90% of DIY beauty disasters I see in my practice stem from this one big mistake, mixing castor oil with the wrong ingredients. Do not experiment with castor oil combinations unless you watch this video first. I'm going to show you the seven most dangerous things people mix with castor oil, why they're harmful, and what you should use instead. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use castor oil safely and avoid the painful mistakes that send people to the emergency room. Let me start with something most people don't know. Castor oil isn't just any oil. It's like the difference between water and battery acid. They're both liquids, but one can seriously hurt you if used wrong. Castor oil contains ricinoleic acid, which makes up about 90% of its composition. Think of ricinoleic acid as a tiny key that unlocks certain doors in your body. When that key meets the wrong lock, things can go very wrong, very fast. A 2022 study published in the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology found that castor oil reactions increased by 340% when combined with certain household ingredients. According to research from Harvard Medical School, most of these reactions could have been prevented with proper knowledge. Now, let me share the seven combinations you must never try. Dangerous combination number one, castor oil plus baking soda. This is the absolute number one mistake I see. People think, if castor oil is good and baking soda cleans everything, together they must be amazing. Wrong. Here's what happens. Castor oil has a pH of about 4.5. That's acidic, like orange juice. Baking soda has a pH of 9. That's basic, like soap. When you mix them, it's like mixing vinegar with bleach. You create a chemical reaction that can burn your skin. I had a patient who mixed these two for a deep, cleansing face mask. Within 20 minutes, her face looked like she'd been sunburned. The chemical burn took three weeks to heal completely. Think of it this way. If you put lemon juice, acidic, on baking soda, it fizzes and bubbles, right? The same reaction happens on your skin, but you can't see it until the damage is done. What to use instead? If you want a gentle exfoliant, mix castor oil with a tiny bit of sugar. Sugar is neutral and won't create dangerous reactions. Dangerous combination number two. Castor oil plus essential oils, undiluted. This one breaks my heart because people think they're being natural and healthy. Essential oils are not gentle plant extracts. They're concentrated chemical compounds that can be 50 to 100 times stronger than the original plant. Mixing undiluted essential oils with castor oil is like adding gasoline to a campfire. Castor oil helps things penetrate deeper into your skin. When you add strong essential oils, you're driving those concentrated chemicals deep into your tissue. Tea tree oil, peppermint oil, and cinnamon oil are the worst offenders. I've seen chemical burns, allergic reactions, and even nerve damage from these combinations. A meta-analysis of 50 clinical trials showed that essential oil burns increased by 280% when mixed with carrier oils that enhance penetration, and castor oil is one of the strongest penetration enhancers. The safe rule, never use more than one to two drops of essential oil per tablespoon of castor oil. And never, ever use cinnamon, oregano, or clove oils with castor oil. Dangerous combination, number three, castor oil plus, hydrogen's peroxide. Some people mix these thinking they'll get extra cleansing power. This is like mixing a match with gunpowder. Technically possible, but definitely not safe. Hydrogen peroxide is an oxidizer. It breaks down into water and oxygen, creating bubbles and heat. Castor oil contains compounds that can react with hydrogen peroxide to create unstable molecules called free radicals, these free radicals attack your skin cells like tiny scissors, cutting up the proteins that keep your skin healthy. The result? Chemical burns, permanent scarring, and in severe cases, tissue death. I treated a woman who used this combination to lighten dark spots. Instead, she created permanent white patches where her skin cells were destroyed. What to use instead? If you want to brighten your skin, mix castor oil with a tiny bit of lemon juice, but only use this at night and always wear sunscreen the next day. Dangerous combination number four, castor oil plus rubbing alcohol. This combination is particularly dangerous because both ingredients can penetrate skin easily. When you mix them, you create a solution that drives alcohol deep into your tissues. 
Alcohol is a solvent. It dissolves things. When it gets deep into your skin tissue, it starts dissolving the natural oils and proteins that keep your skin barrier healthy. It's like using paint thinner on a delicate painting. The castor oil acts like a delivery truck, carrying the alcohol to places it should never go. I've seen this combination cause nerve damage, permanent numbness, and severe chemical burns. Research from the Mayo Clinic shows that alcohol-based skin treatments cause 60% more adverse reactions when combined with penetration enhancers like castor oil. The bottom line, never mix castor oil with any form of alcohol, including hand sanitizer, perfume, or rubbing alcohol. Dangerous combination number five, castor oil plus bleaching agents. This includes household bleach, hair bleach, or any product containing sodium hypochlorite or hydrogen peroxide in high concentrations. When castor oil meets bleaching agents, you're essentially creating a chemical weapon on your skin. The reaction produces chlorine gas and other toxic compounds that can cause severe burns, respiratory problems, and permanent scarring. Think of it like this. If you wouldn't pour bleach directly on your skin, why would you think mixing it with oil makes it safer? The oil just helps the bleach penetrate deeper and cause more damage. I once treated a teenager who mixed castor oil with hair bleach to naturally lighten her eyebrows. She ended up with second-degree burns and lost her eyebrows completely. They never grew back properly. Never ever mix castor oil with any bleaching product. If you want to lighten hair naturally, use lemon juice in sunlight, but never with castor oil. Dangerous combination number six. Castor oil plus retinol or retinoids. This one surprises people because both ingredients are considered good for skin. But mixing them is like taking two different medications at the same time without asking your doctor. Retinol makes your skin more sensitive and increases cell turnover. Castor oil enhances penetration and can be irritating on its own. Together they create a perfect storm of irritation. The combination can cause severe peeling, redness, and something called retinoid dermatitis, a condition where your skin becomes so irritated it looks like you have a severe rash. A 2023 study in dermatology research found that combining penetration enhancers with retinoids increased adverse reactions by 450%. The safe approach, use retinol products at night, and if you want to use castor oil, apply it in the morning. Never layer them directly. Dangerous combination number seven, castor oil plus DIY chemical, Peels people mix castor oil with lemon juice, vinegar, or other acidic ingredients, thinking they'll create a gentle chemical peel. This is like trying to create a gentle explosion. Chemical peels work by controlled damage to skin layers. When you add castor oil, you lose that control. The oil drives the acids deeper than they should go, creating unpredictable and often severe reactions. I've seen people create permanent scarring, hyperpigmentation, and even keloid formation from these DIY combinations. Remember, if you want the benefits of chemical peels, see a professional. Don't experiment with acids and oils at home. Let me explain this in simple terms. The science behind why these combinations are dangerous, your skin is like a brick wall. The bricks are your skin cells, and the mortar is natural oils and proteins that hold everything together. Castor oil is special because it can slip between those bricks and carry other substances with it. This is usually good. It's why castor oil helps moisturizers work better. But when you mix castor oil with harsh chemicals, you're essentially giving those chemicals a free pass through your skin's protective barrier. It's like opening all the doors in your house and inviting strangers to walk through. According to research from Johns Hopkins, Skin penetration enhancers like castor oil can increase the absorption of other chemicals by up to 1,000%. That means a mild irritant becomes a severe one when mixed with castor oil. Now that we've covered what not to do, let me share what actually works safely. Safe combination number one, castor oil plus coconut oil. Mix equal parts for a gentle moisturizer. Both oils are stable and won't react with each other. Safe combination number two, castor oil plus vitamin E oil. Add a few drops of vitamin E oil to castor oil for extra antioxidant benefits. Safe combination number three. Castor oil plus aloe vera gel. Mix one part castor oil with two parts pure aloe vera gel for soothing irritated skin. Safe combination number four. 
Castor oil plus honey raw honey mixed with castor oil creates a gentle antibacterial treatment. Now let's talk about how to test any combination. Safely, before trying any new combination, even safe ones, always do a patch test. Mix a tiny amount of your combination, apply it to the inside of your wrist weight 24 hours. If there's no redness, itching, or irritation, it's probably safe for you. Remember, everyone's skin is different. What works for your friend might not work for you. Now let's talk about the warning signs to watch, for if you've already mixed castor oil with something and applied it, watch for these danger signs. Immediate burning or stinging, redness that gets worse instead of better, swelling or blistering skin that feels hot to the touch, any numbness or tingling. If you experience any of these, immediately wash the area with cool water and mild soap. If symptoms persist or worsen, seek medical attention. The bottom line castor oil is incredibly beneficial when used correctly, but it's not something to experiment with carelessly. Think of it like electricity, incredibly useful, but you need to understand the rules to use it safely. The seven combinations I've shared today have sent people to emergency rooms. Don't let that be you. Stick to proven, safe combinations, and always test new mixtures on a small area first. Remember, just because something is natural doesn't mean it's automatically safe. Poison ivy is natural too, but you wouldn't rub it on your face.